up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to episode four of Phoenix Rising. In the last episode, we confronted the villain that we had seen in episode two. We confronted him inside of the Trad Farm and decided to make this a good run, answering good answers. Apparently, there are branching paths to the story, which is really cool. And then we came out here on Route Two on our the start of our journey, where we met Perrin. Um, who I imagine is going to turn out to be a rival of some sort. I have no idea. In today's episode, we're going to be continuing on, making our way to whatever the next place is. I have no clue. If you're enjoying Phoenix Rising so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell icon thing so you get all of our notifications and see all of our videos. And make sure you answer the Who's That Pokemon. I knew I was forgetting something. Make sure you answer Who's That Pokemon. Um, down below, comment your answer, whatever your guess is, and then at the end of the video, when you see the answer, you can go back and edit it and make a comment, oh, I thought that it was this, this, and that. Just a suggestion. Let's get to it. Still, our only team member is this star you. We gotta find something to add to the team. Hopefully we can do that today. I'm not adding a fletchling to the team. Now, I've changed up the lighting just a little bit. But I don't know if it makes a difference with my usual lighting. Whoa, that game... That in-game time just changed. My parents helped fund the gardens currently being built north of here. Currently being built. Okay. So we're probably not going to go that way just yet. Rich Boy Charles has a Shroomish, which is scary. Considering all I have is a water type. Okay, I'm gonna press Z, and Z again. Okay. I'm very thankful that they have speed up button built into battles. I think that's really cool. I saw some people saying that they wanted, why does uproar look like hyper beam? Well, I guess when you freaking crit. Anyway, some people were saying that they wanted it to be like, uh, Permanent speed up? I don't need permanent speed up. Not yet. Oh, I only have one potion left. Bro, wait a minute. Hold on, we need to run back real quick. That ain't gonna work. I thought I had more potions than that. By the way, who should we add to the team? I can't add Poliwag to the team. I really don't want to add a Shroomish to the team. Everybody uses Shroomish. Everybody uses Breloom. I don't know, I kind of like this lighting that we have going on here. Let me know if you notice the difference. You'll definitely notice the difference from the last episode, but if you're a regular and you watch our videos often, let me know if you notice the difference with the lighting, because it's, um, there's kind of a very big difference. <laughs> In that the, the lights that we usually have are still on, but there's also another light. Alright, I'm gonna buy 10. I can't buy 10. Oh! Alright, I'm gonna buy 10 of these. Wait, did it give me an extra 3? Oh, I didn't even look at it. Oh! Alright, we're good to go. Let's let's get let's get let's get let's get. We gotta make some progress. Even though, you know, it's okay that we take a little longer than others, we don't wanna We don't wanna overdo that. Can you imagine if the in-game time setting that this game goes for was similar like Breath of the Wild? Where if you just ooh a stunky. And by ooh a stunky, I mean ew a stunky. No. Um, if it worked like if the time thing worked like uh, in Breath of the Wild, so like let's say you just so happened to get to the gym and it was 3 a.m., you would have to find something to do until like say 8 a.m. the next day. 
I think that'd be a, I think that'd be a clever idea. Like an actual day-night cycle. Like an actual day-night cycle. Not just a day-night cycle that they can say, yeah, this is it's oh it's 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 nighttime now, but everybody's still out and doing their thing. You know what I mean? That's that's an idea. I kinda like that idea. Now why does vacuum wave is that on purpose? I'm level 14. Yeah, overpowered. I was I was just thinking the same thing. We've got to find another team member. Hmm. I love the garage door under me. I just want to use a different team. I don't want to use the same team that everybody's using. We're currently building a new area. I'm afraid I could not let you pass. Oh. <laughs> he was literally like, this, uh, this area hasn't been coded yet. Is that the next town already? Let's go down this way. I hope we can find a grass type. I set up camp in that forest. Bad idea, dude. Bad idea. Maybe it's city life for me. Dang. There are hidden items. Well, that just changes the game. Sometimes Pokemon will create burrows that they live in. Leave items or other surprises. Oh, you mean like this? Found leftovers. Well, that's immediately getting handed over. Oh, those are vines. I thought they were. I thought they were like bones. I was like, why are there? Uh, excuse me. Why is there a big ursaring staring at me? All right, what can we find here? Absolutely, under no circumstances will I even consider adding a cricket tot to the team. I won't even consider. Ooh, a moss rock. Also, will not consider adding a Wurmple. I, I've, I've considered, and the decision was very simple. A Miracle Seed. See, I, I need a Grass type. What can you give me, game? Come on. Of all the bug types that we can that we've found so far, this is the best of them. Is that new leech life? Or is that old leech life? I need new leech life. Um, what do we name a Nankata? What do we name a going to be Shedinja? Hmm. Look at this window! Nice! Bug ground. Excuse me? That's not. It makes its nest at the roost of a mighty tree. Using its whisker-like antenna, it probes its surroundings in the pitch black darkness of soil. So, you know I'm bad with nicknames. What are we gonna name this Nankata? Um, not Shedenja, Ninjask. I mean, both of them, really, but...
I mean, I guess I can live with that name. So in the end... Whoa, that's weird. Okay, I'm gonna save. And that's a nice bug that we have there. I hope I'm able to... We might not. Well, let's just see what happens. So what? Uh, it's just gone? Our Pokeball is gone. Wait a second. Own three. That means it's going to have... Oh, that's weird. It's like, it just disappeared. <laughs> okay. Little weird stuff going on here. Um, I might see if I can find one off screen to make up for that. That's, that's really strange. But, um... I think I'm prepared to go on to whatever is, whatever is next. Hopefully we don't wind up regretting this decision. I really don't want to die if I can, if I have the choice, but, um. Your string seems angry. Going any closer may anger it. Proceed anyway. What if I say no? It just turns me around. You know, we'll come back. We'll come back. Let's go see what this town was up here. And then we'll come back. I'm gonna go see if maybe the Nankata just got sent to our box because we never got the choice to choose. Okay, all I need, I'm in Sonata Town. Oh, uh oh, what's going on here? Honey, are you feeling well? Honest, I have no, no idea what you mean. You didn't hear from Route 3, are you sure? Maybe you'd like a glass of water? You don't believe me at all. I'm, go I'm, not, I'm going crazy. Lynn! Wait, don't run off! Wait, Lynn! Wait a minute! Is this Lynn from Pokemon Reborn? I... Mm -mm. Oh, that poor girl. Hey, you. Who taught you manners? Stupid on people's conversations. And you ran her off. She was trying to tell me something. Oh, wait. Are you a Pokemon trainer? Maybe you can help me. Walk with me. No. No. Turn around. I have other stuff to do. You're not my dad. The girl you saw, her name is Lynn. Poor darling, she's had a difficult life. I'm just her neighbor, but we try to watch out for each other here in Sonata Town. I've seen Lynn in dark moods, Shirley, and I've done my best to help. But I've never seen her like this, all amped up and raving. I fear she's gone out to Route 3, into the swamp, chasing voices. It sounds absurd, right? It can't just be me who feels that way. But th I think you should try to speak with her before she gets herself into trouble. And really, I think you have a responsibility to check on her. I would go see her myself, but now's not a good time for me. Daddy, I'm bored. I have responsibilities, as you can see. Anyway, Route 3, Lynn. Make sure she's alright. No! 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 Absolutely not. Nope. Not doing it. I'm not doing it. That's stupid. That's stupid. Why would I drop everything I'm doing <clears throat> to go tend to somebody that I don't know? Somebody that was in my way. 
They were in my way. I was on the way to the Pokemon Center. And they were in my way. Dang. Ninkata, Ninkata said, I'm out of here. He said, I ain't playing with you. Excuse me. Goodness gracious. <clears throat> it's not that I'm sick anymore, or at least I don't think I'm sick anymore. Just that the tickle in my throat. It's just really bad. Okay, well, we're on Route 2. And we're gonna go back down to the forest! And we're gonna take on this Ursaring thing. And I guess we're gonna see how it goes. I'm sure it's gonna be like level 20. So I might have to do some minimize shenanigans, you know what I mean? If you know what I'm saying. Hey look, another Ninkata. Should I try to catch this one? If it lives the water gun, I'll try to catch it. Oh, that's right, it's probably grounded in this game. Which is weird. Alright, well I'm gonna save... Where is it? There it is. Yes. Okay, I love that. He like reached out. Level 30? Wait a minute. Minimize. Minimize. I want to win this. I legit want to win this. You can lower my speed all you want. That's three. Wait. Okay, my evasion is all the way up. Okay. Here we go, water gun. Okay, so if he uses like, if he uses rest, Which I was gonna say, eventually he'll get, should I catch this thing? What should I, what should I be doing here? Cause he's just gonna wind up resting again. What? You can't hit me! Oh, come on! Alright, we're not going back. Alright, we're not going back there. If you're heading for Route 3, you may want to pick a bunch of, pack a bunch of antidotes, or not. I guess some of us prefer a challenge. Wanted to go up to the gardens up north, but the nice man at the gatehouse said it wasn't ready yet. What's a girl to do? I hear a rare ghost type Pokemon can be found on Route 3. I don't dare head out into the swamp alone, though. Yo, we're here to keep the PC running. It starts acting up, you come to me, alright? Wait, can I come to you now? Because my Nankata disappeared? I've heard some Pokemon need certain stones to evolve. Why does it work like that? Seems a bit strange to me. I mean, I wouldn't say no to a pretty stone, but it wouldn't magically make me a grown-up, I think. Alright, that Ursaring. Found a note. Read what it says. Greetings finder, greetings friend. To make you rich, I do intend. Find my clues and heed them well. Seek the riches where they dwell. And you shall thank me in the end. There's a crude drawing of a person ceremoniously clearing their throat. Riddle the first. A road twixt pines and cascades, tall journeys start, but not for all. What? Wooden bridge, some stairs, but see, stop halfway and check that tree. Wait. I was like kind of paying attention. <laughs> I was like sort of paying attention there. I feel like I need to catch my Nankata before I go anywhere. Is there a 
Is there a bridge on Route 2? Wait. What did that say? Wait, are you not going to show me, like, what it said? Okay. A road twixt pines and cascades tall. Journey start but not for all. Wooden bridge some stairs, but see, stop halfway and check that tree. Okay, hold on. I'm going back to the forest real quick. Let me see if... Okay, I think I see something. Oh, there's no stairs, though. Okay, so I don't think that's it. Alright, well, let's talk to some more people around the city before we wrap up this episode. And then before the next episode, I'm going to get an Inkata. I'm going to train him up probably just to level 10. Um, and then we'll be ready to fully continue on. What do we got here? Are they going to try and battle me? Welcome to Sonata Diner. Please feel free to seat yourself. I'm scared. <laughs> I think Spinda did something. I'm feeling mighty spinny and swirly. Why is the floor so far down? Bro, you I've run plum out of wild raspberries for my signature dish. Yes, I would. So I'm looking for wild raspberries. Do I have to be able to get past that freaking ursaring first? We go all the time. It's great. I wish we could go someplace with healthier food. I love Kalos fries. <laughs> Kalos fries. Kalos. Paris. French. Fries. I get it. Clever. Clever. So we had our first date. Feels like yesterday. I was really hoping she was going to say our first date was yesterday. I've never been on a date before. What do I do? He asked me out, but now all he's doing is smiling awkwardly. Am I doing something wrong? Oh my god. Children. Whoa, it just lets me back here? Here, have this. I don't need it anymore. I got caught dining and dashing, so now I gotta make it up by washing dishes. What a dr- okay. I thought he was, like, currently stealing. Oh, that's a knife. I like that they put the time to... I like that they put the time to say, don't try that. Keep your hands off the cookie dough, whoever you are. Those are carrots. No, those might be bears. Okay, well, that was the restaurant. I got the TM for Thief. That's about all I got in here. All right, let's talk to more people. I'm currently traveling Hawthorne. People in the, in the area seem rather posh. I think I prefer the laid back atmosphere of all... Ondi Town? Whoops, didn't mean to click on him again. All right, what are you? On your way to Trinita University? Part the task of the part of the task is the journey to the university itself. Many students see it as their first trial. We came from Ruvedonia Town to eat at the diner. It wasn't a wasted trip. All right, what does this guy do? Okay, I thought he was like creeping up. He was, he was creeping up. Oh my dear, it's only a delight to eat here with you year after year. Do not fear. All right, too much. On oh, my wife, I'm glad you would pick up a fork. Oh, my wife. I'm glad you would pick up fork and knife with me after all our strife. Sure. What you said, bro. What you said. Whoa. I have never seen that monitor shake like that. That girl Lynn has a nose for trouble. Oh, shut up. 
Very care. You, you'd think she'd be more careful, especially on what happened with find Lynn out in the swamp. She'll be searching for that voice. And again, I say no. The kids at tool the kids at school told me a story about a ghost in the factory. The grown-ups don't let us go to Route 3, so I don't know if it's true. So the ghost in the next route, can I only assume who that might be? I think I know who it is. I think I know who it is. About to make this my house. All right, which way is Route 3? Route 2 is this way, what? Oh. Oh. It's not the layout I thought the town had. I thought the town went down more. I don't know why people keep saying Sonata Town. It is a town. Sonata Town. Sonata. Sonata Town. Sonata Town. That's... They're clever. They're clever. The writers are very clever. Okay, since this monitor is like on, I can see it shaking. Yo, you thirsty? Sorry, old habit. Ah, that's the guy that always asks if you wanna, uh... Yo, champ in the making! Have you encountered any status effects? Good stuff. I'm quite the experienced traveler, actually. I even managed to freeze a foe once. And if it was by accident. All right, I'm gonna buy, I've been told that I need to have antidotes. If five isn't enough, I don't wanna be involved. Oh my God, I just bought repels. I'm I'm changing. I'm stocking up for route three. A Poke Scout is always prepared. To the northeast, past the swamp, there's a great lush mountain. You should see it, it's beautiful. I will. I will have to take your word for it. Okay. So that is Sonata Town. In the next episode, as I said, actually, hold on, hold on. Okay, this guy's creepy. I'm not standing there. All right. In the next episode, what do we do today? So today we traveled through Route 2. We went towards the forest. We got smacked by the Ursa Ring. I don't think we're, I don't think we have a chance of beating that with the way we are right now. Now that could just be that I'm not using that Riolu because that Riolu using fighting type moves could potentially beat it. But that's just what it is for now. Um, I guess let me know in the comments down below if I'm supposed to beat that right now. Um, if not, I'll come back and do it another time. Uh, I'm in no rush for that. But in the next episode, we'll make our way to Route 3. We will have our Ninkata join us. So we'll actually have two people on the team that we can use. And that's that. If you enjoyed today's episode, hit the thumbs up down below. Make sure you've subscribed and hit the little bell icon so YouTube will actually show you all of our videos. Um, and make sure that you've answered our Who's That Pokemon and stay tuned to the very end so you can find out exactly who that Pokemon is. We will see you in the next episode. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.